babes, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy Sun. If you're new here, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. This is going to be a really fun kickoff to my monthly wardrobe recap. Can I say that correctly? <laughs> wardrobe recap series. Oh my gosh, why was that so hard for me to say today? I'm also out of breath because I've been running up and down the stairs. Like I was saying, this is going to be a really fun kickoff with some colorful, bright, summer activewear. I'm actually headed out to go to a rowing class. I've been going religiously for like the past month and I'm really, really enjoying it, you guys. It is such a good form of total body workout. It gets you kind of like that runner's high energy. Anyway, let's focus on the outfit because I do have to run shortly, but this top, oh my gosh, I got this so, so long ago. It's from Brandy Melville, but I don't shop there anymore. This was just one of the pieces that I got as like a cover up because obviously the armholes are very massive. I like to just throw this on when it's hot outside, but I don't want to like go on full sports bra mode. Underneath, I do have a flow Y bra in the Nulu fabric from Lululemon. And obviously all the outfits and everything will be linked in the description below, including my sizes and measurements and all that good stuff for reference. These are the speed up shorts in the four inch length, I believe, in that same sunny coral color. I actually really love the four inch length on the speed up shorts and the hottie hots for rowing classes because I am seated and I kind of like a little bit more coverage in the booty area. Just some regular old socks from Heinz. And as I always bring with me, I take my Bay's sports duffel, super, super cute. This duffel is like the best thing ever. If you go to the gym or if you just go to studio classes, it's awesome. It fits so much stuff. I have way too much stuff in there and I don't really like to walk around in my sneakers, like my activewear sneakers. For some reason, I just like wearing slides when I'm walking around and then changing into my actual workout shoes when I'm there at the studio. So I carry it in this bag along with all my essentials, things that I can freshen up with like lip balm. I have some sunscreen in here and I always bring my hydro flask because this is my favorite water bottle ever. I think hydro flask and Yetis are my favorite. I kind of teeter between the two, but I have been using this water bottle for the past six months. It's amazing. I take it everywhere I go. It keeps my beverages super, super chilled. It's ugh, amazing. I personally feel like this ticks all the check boxes for me. I don't even feel like I need a Stanley cup because I know those are really expensive. I mean, granted the hydro flasks are also expensive, but they're way more accessible, I feel, than the Stanley cups because those are always out of stock for some reason. I don't own one because I don't feel the need to. I have this and it's just perfection. Anywho, I am going to head out and go to my rowing class. I probably am going to be stuck at home for the rest of the day doing some work. I got some editing to do. I just filmed an Abercrombie Basics haul that I'm going to be uploading. If that's already up, I'll go ahead and link it here. I have so much content to film and edit, you guys. It's unreal. I am running out of bandwidth for sure. <laughs> hey, you guys. So Charlie and I are about to head out to the mall because I have some returns to make. I feel like that is my daily routine. I have something to return either at like Aritzia, Abercrombie or Lululemon, which all three of the stores I'm probably gonna go to during this trip. But we're about to head out and I thought I would show you guys my outfit. It's super simple. This is kind of my go-to attire when the weather is super warm. It is about like 80 to 85 degrees today, which is amazing and it's super sunny. So I kept my clothing pretty simple and minimal because that is the best way to keep yourself cool. So let me start off with accessories. I have my normal jewelry on and my bag is from Polen. This is such a unique color. I really like it. I just haven't been able to wear it a lot because I have trouble pairing this with outfits, to be honest with you. So I really wouldn't recommend this exact color, but I do love the bag style itself. It's that kind of half moon shaped bag that is very popular these days. I do like the color. It's just, I wish I chose a different color because I don't gravitate towards this like purpley brown as much. Anyway, so I digress. 
This top is from Abercrombie. It's their Essentials tee. I'm obsessed. I think I just hauled this in my Abercrombie haul a couple weeks for you guys because this is like pre-filmed. Super soft and just the most cozy relaxed shirt. It has that perfectly oversized look. I love it. These shorts are also Abercrombie. I think these are called like the cutoff shorts. I love them. They fit me super, super nicely like in the waist because this is from the Curve Love line. And for shoes, I gravitate always towards my Chloe Woody mules because they literally go with every single outfit and I don't have shoes that match this exact color of the bag. And that is also a challenge that I have with this bag in particular. It's just such a hard color to work with. I don't know, I'm like debating on selling it, but I really like the style of the bag. It fits a ton and the quality is amazing. So I'm kind of teetering between the two thoughts. I don't know, let me know what you guys think I should do with this bag. <laughs> If you think, I don't know, maybe I'm just not being creative enough and only wear warm tones and this is definitely a more cooler toned bag. So it's just harder for me to go outside my warm toned box, if you know what I'm saying. Hey guys, so I am going out with Charlie to meet up with two of her friends at this like little event that's happening near us. So this is my outfit. It's actually a little bit more of a formal event. So. I'm dressed kind of like business casual-esque style today. <laughs> For my bag, let's do accessories first. I think my earrings, these are from Ana Luisa and all of my normal jewelry are always linked in the description. This top, or I'm sorry, this bag is my mini peekaboo. Love it, it's so, so cute. I'm whipping it out today because it matches my pant and shoes perfectly. I know it's a little too matchy-matchy, but I love it anyway. This shirt is just the ribbed scoop neck tank from Abercrombie. These pants are the cropped effortless pants from Aritzia. And my shoes are from Lintervale. I'm not sure if I'm saying that brand right, but it's a European footwear brand. Really, really cute and minimal. And the heel is perfect. It's not super high where it's really uncomfortable. Very easy, effortless, but still cute. This is basically my running errands outfit. It's super simple. I usually really like these bodycon dresses because it makes me feel a little bit more dressed up than I am, but it's super easy. I just put some nipple covers and then this is a bodycon dress. It's a midi with a little bit of a slit from Express. I got this so, so long ago, so I am pretty sure they don't sell this anymore, but I'll try to link something pretty similar to it. I like to just throw these button ups on me when I have on like a more of a mini top or something that's a little bit more revealing because I get cold really easily, like I said in my previous videos, and I love having this as like a cover up. I'm wearing this one from Abercrombie. It's their oversized like poplin shirt or something. Love it. It's like the perfect oversized fit. And for shoes, I'm wearing my flats or sandals from Madewell. The autofocus on my phone is just a disaster these days. I don't know what is happening. My bag is also from Demolier. I hope I'm saying that right, but I did a whole Demolier review video on my channel if you guys are interested in their bags, but I love this one because it goes with literally every outfit. I'm gonna go to my eye doctor, get some sunglasses adjusted because I did purchase some new ones for this summer. I'm so excited to style them or use them to style my outfits because I love, I'm like really obsessed with buying sunglasses right now because I don't have a lot of them, but I did buy two for the summer. They are way too small for my big head. So I need to get them a little bit stretched out. I am about to head out again to go work out and do a rowing class with my friend Courtney. So I'm super excited to have her with me this time. I'm just loving the workout. So I have a lot of workout outfits incorporated in this video, which I am obsessed with because I love Lululemon and Aloe Yoga and all that athletic brands. My head is gonna be kind of cut off from this video, but the outfit here is pretty simple, but I love the color. This water bottle sling bag is actually from Calpec and I am obsessed. I just got this and I love this for when I don't wanna bring my entire base 
sports duffel with me that has like my shoes and everything. If I am just gonna go straight to the workout and back, I don't need my giant duffel bag with me. So this just serves that purpose exactly right. And it holds my water bottle, my entire hydro flask. It has this handle as well. I'm just obsessed with this bag. I just got it and I'm already obsessed. It has this little compartment that I have my keys inside, my wallet, a lip balm, a mirror, and I'm gonna put my phone in this little pocket. There's like so many different organizational pockets here, which is awesome. And then I have like my gloves in one of the pockets in the back. And the strap is adjustable, so you can have it on you like this. You can also hold it with this little handle right here. This shirt is just a random shirt that I got from Banana Republic that I actually cropped myself because it's a men's shirt that Charlie didn't want. So I just wanted to make it into a crop top because that's all I wear over my sports bras and things. Underneath this crop shop, crop shop, crop top, I have the tennis tank from Lululemon. Super, super cute. It fits me so well. And I love how this is a little bit longer lined. So I'm not exposing as much midriff. I believe this set is in the color summer glow from lululemon if i didn't say that already these shorts are the speed up shorts 2.5 inch length and high rise so i love these shorts i own them in like so many different colors now i kind of wish i got the four inch ones because for rowing i do prefer a longer length than the 2.5 but it still is fine i like the look of the 2.5s better but the four inch is so much better for rowing because you're seated and you want to cover your bum as much as possible this is my workout outfit for today i really hope my camera is straight because it looks a little lopsided but it'll do i'm about to head out to go to a winery with my friend it looks like it's about to rain though outside so i'm a little <laughs> nervous we shall see. I think the winery has an indoor section, so we're probably gonna just sit there instead of trying to risk it outside. Anywho, let's get into the outfit details. So the bag that I'm wearing is the Demolier. I forgot the name of this bag, but it's super cute. My top is actually from Abercrombie a couple seasons ago, but I think I might either donate or give this away to a friend or family because I don't really like how low the armholes are and it shows my bra to the side not a huge deal but i have other tank tops that i prefer over this so i think i might part ways with this top after this wear and i'll wash it and either donate or give it away my skirt it's a skirt it has shorts underneath which is amazing i prefer all skirts to have shorts underneath this skirt is from abercrombie as well and i love this tan linen i think it's perfect for the winery occasion and with it i'm gonna be pairing my madewell sandals these are just flat shoes so so cute I think these were also really reasonably priced. I got it on sale a couple months ago and really love them. They're not like the most comfortable shoes by any means, but they don't give me blisters or anything like that. They just are flat. So it doesn't give you much arch support or anything, but super cute for an occasion like this. I love them and they kind of match my skirt. So I think it'll do. My jewelry is all the same ones that I normally wear. But yeah, I think it's pretty simple today. I also got a nifty surprise in the mail today. I got my final order in from Aritzia. This is my last package that needed to be delivered. I am so excited to do my final try on haul for you guys on my channel. I did a massive one a couple days ago and this is definitely going to be another filming session because in addition to this, I have a few other ones that I haven't shown in a haul. So I will be sharing that, but I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of some of the other pieces because I got it in the mail today. This is the linen, like oversized linen shirt from Aritzia. I got this in a beige in my last haul and I just wanted to pick up the white too. I got it in a double X small, which is perfect because this runs massive. So even if I got it in a double X small, it's huge so definitely size down if you guys are into this style i already know i love that one because i have it in like three other colors i also hauled this contour 
square neck dress in my last haul, but in a different color. I got it in like this really rich brown. I wanted to pick up another color that's a little bit lighter. So I got this one. It's in Fluent Taupe. Such a perfect neutral. I just love the contour dresses from Aritzia. They just snatch you to perfection. I got a couple other contours, contour tops. This one is the square neck. As you guys can see, there's a pattern of what I like in terms of the material and the neckline. This is just a very simple square neck, long sleeve top, contour fabric. Love it. I got it in a brown and I got it in a black. I think those two colors are pretty much wardrobe staples of mine. Got those two. The other ones are upstairs and I'll be featuring them in a separate try on haul. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that. Okay, just kidding guys. I changed my outfit. This happens a lot actually because I change my mind all the time about my outfit after I put it together. But basically I changed out my top to this tuckable, what is this called? Like a scoop neck tank from Abercrombie. And I tucked it into my skirt and then I just have this oversized poplin cotton button up shirt as a cover up or kind of like a shirt jacket so that I don't get super cold in case it gets windier than this. And if we end up sitting inside and there's AC, just wanna make sure that I'm not going to be freezing my ass off. So this is <laughs> the new updated outfit and the shoes are going to be the same. Charlie and I are headed to go to the mall. Our last trip to the mall before we go on our vacation to Seattle. So I just gotta pick up, what is this guy doing? <laughs> I just gotta go pick up a few things from like Sephora. I think I might try to pick up a pair of shorts from Lululemon because I've been eyeing a pair of their soft stream shorts, but I wanna feel them first and see the size and everything. Hopefully they have it in stock. If not, I'm probably just gonna skip on them and just order it online when I get back home. I just don't wanna order stuff right now because we'll be in Seattle by the time it gets to our house. So I don't wanna miss the delivery and everything and yeah, risk someone stealing our packages. <laughs> anyway, so this is my outfit for the mall and I'm actually doing a little bit of filming later today after I get back home from the mall. So that's why I'm kind of more dressed up than I normally would be to go to the mall. So I did like my makeup and my hair and everything. I have my Gucci crossbody bag. This is the horse bit style. And this top is from Express like a long, long time ago. My shorts are the gelato shorts from Aritzia. It's super, super nice for the summer, but it looks very polished and nice, but it's still elastic. So it's really comfortable. My shoes are from Amazon actually. These are really comfy, surprisingly. Not the best quality shoe ever, but they are really simple and minimal for the summer. And I think it ties well with the white in the bag as well. So this is my pretty casual, I would say, styled outfit. Romper is just being sad since we're gonna head out. <laughs> I am making myself some espresso or Nes Nespresso because I'm really tired and I need the caffeine right now. <laughs> All right, friends, I just came back from the mall and I'm actually filming with my iPhone because my camera died and all of my external batteries died as well. They were not charged, which is a mistake on my part. So we are doing this iPhone situation. Hopefully it's not too bad in terms of quality. I, why am I so out of breath? I feel like I always feel this way when I'm trying to film. I'm, always out of breath. I got back from Lululemon because I wanted to pick up my hemming order. I got a pair of Align leggings just hemmed by two inches because I got the 28 inch length in one of their leggings and it's just too long for me. I usually go for the 25 inch, but like I said, they didn't have the color in the 25 length. So I just got it in the 28 and they have free complimentary hemming services at Aritzia, not Aritzia. I did go to Aritzia as well. I just bought socks from them because I love their base socks and I purchased them while they're on sale. They were on sale for like 
10%, which is nothing, but it's better than nothing, right? Anywho, these are the leggings that I got hemmed. So now they are a little bit shorter at the ends by like two inches I got taken off. Now these are ready to go back in my closet. I did pick up a few other things from uh, Lululemon, so I just thought I would share them with you since we are here anyway. We're in my bedroom, by the way. I haven't made the bed today because I woke up super early to work a wedding. So pardon the situation behind me. I'm so glad I found this in the store because I was trying to buy it online. They were in stock in the color bone. This is a halter tank top, but I haven't actually bought them yet because I'm going to Seattle in literally three days and that would not be enough time for Lululemon to ship to my house. So I went in stores and thank goodness I found it because I think I'm definitely gonna bring this to wear at uh, my trip to Seattle. It is padded and the material is so much thicker than my other halter top. So this is going to be an upgrade for that. And it's in the color bone. I also like that the color bone is a little bit more of an off-white color. So I'm not as scared to wear this as I would be for a crisp white shirt. I wasn't planning on getting these, but I did because I saw them in store and I fell in love with them. When I saw these online, I really wasn't sure about them because they looked kind of thick and a little baggy. I don't know, I wasn't sure about the waist either because it has this cinch draw cord waist, but when I saw it in person and felt it, it was like I needed to have it. <laughs> I got them in two different colors. I got a black and these are basically called the Cinchable Waist High Rise Woven Short in a 3.5 inch length. And I think these are so perfect for the summer because the material is actually pretty thin, but it's thick enough where it feels high quality and you could definitely dress this up and wear it to work if you're a work allows you to wear shorts. This is what the back looks like. And they have pockets and draw cords to adjust the waist. I got it in a size extra small. I am definitely gonna bring this to Seattle as well. I think these are like the best like airport type of shorts because they look really, really chic and cute, but they're comfortable. I liked it so much that I got it in the color bone as well. And they also have this in a white in store. I saw the white one, it's just like a really crisp, really beautiful white. That is like a really quick Lululemon haul for you. I am going to be filming a long summer neutrals Lululemon try on haul soon. I think I might film that actually right after this or right after I eat so that I can have that up for you guys before, I think you'll see that before you see this video. So you might see these on me before, but anyway, I will try to vlog and do like a mini Seattle vlog situation if you guys are interested. I love vlogging those like trips and my travel because it's a really great way for me to see like way later and then reminisce in the memories. So anyway, I'm gonna go eat now. <laughs> I have a quick update for you guys. I am so bummed out right now because I was about to film my Lululemon Summer Neutrals haul. As you can see in the background, I have all the clothing up on the rack, but unfortunately the cinchable waist shorts that I just showed you guys from Lululemon, the black ones and the bone colored one they're too big on me and i was like shocked because i'm usually always an extra small they had an xx x small an xx small and then an x small and then so on and so forth so i just grabbed the extra smalls without even trying them on maybe that was my mistake i should have definitely tried it on but the mall was absolutely crazy today so i just didn't want to <laughs> try it on i hate shopping in person. <laughs> I, that's why I always do my shopping online. Unfortunately, they didn't work out. They were too big on me. I wanted to make it work because <laughs> I just out of pure laziness of exchanging them. But my husband, Charlie was like, yeah, those look way too big and I need them or I would really love to wear them for Seattle in three days. So I'm not gonna have any time to like actually go to the mall and exchange it myself. So my sweet husband is running to Lululemon again now to exchange it for me. How sweet of a soul is he? So he's gonna do that and then bring them back and then I'm gonna try to film 
the haul tomorrow morning before my wedding clients come to the studio for their trials. That's the dealio. <laughs> so thought I would share that with you. So I'm exchanging them for an XX small. For size reference, I wear a size two most of the time in Lululemon, sometimes a four depending on the fabric and material. I just thought that I would fit in an extra small, but unfortunately they're too big. By the way, this is the halter top from Lululemon. Isn't she? So cute, I love it. These shorts are the same gelato shorts from Aritzia that I wore earlier today. I think the only thing that I am annoyed with is that the bra like padding kind of shows. The outline of it is kind of showing through the material because it is a lighter color. But other than that, I love the look of this top. I also have this in black. I think this is going to be the end of the wardrobe recap video. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the outfits I wore. Like always, I'll go ahead and link everything below if I can find them online still. If not, I'll try to find alternatives and link those. And all my measurements and sizes are always in the description as well for reference. Please like if you haven't already, subscribe if you wanna stick around, and I will talk to you guys soon in the comments.